Well, some of you have seen some of my other videos on my water features that I have in the yard to cook, you know, keep the birds coming in to get rid of the insects. I'm just crazy about it. I actually ended up buying two more. They were less than $10 each. And I'll see if I can put the link underneath, and if not, I'll figure out something. But this is basically what comes. I don't want to do a big box opening because I think I've already done it, and you've probably seen it. This is the pump, and it's got a really long cord, which is really cool because you can, you know, set this up all different ways. You can get really, really fancy with these. See, there's the cord. That's the solar that will run it in the sun, and that's all it is. Just plug it in. This goes in the water, so you put this on the bottom, I don't have anything to stick it in, but on the bottom of a vessel, and make sure it's full of water, and the water will come out of there as soon as it gets some sun. It sometimes doesn't need full sun, so you could test it in your area. And then it comes with all these little parts, and that makes it spray up in the air, and, and do different things, and different designs of water and stuff. See, this has got the holes. Sometimes I make bigger holes. The problem is if you use this where um, let's say the bowl isn't that big, you'll end up having the water shooting everywhere. So be sure to check that out. But this clips on here. So you, dip, you pick out the one that you want to use. See they come with different types, different water features. And you've got a plain one. You can make it taller, bigger. And that's it. It's really simple. It comes with different different pieces. You can play around with it. Instructions, too. You really don't need the instructions. You'll figure it out. It's so easy. There's nothing, nothing with nothing. But that's it. There's nothing to it. Now, I, I'm just going to, I hope this summer I have time to do things. I want to do all kinds of stuff. You can take a teapot and you could have the water being pumped into a teapot and the teapot angled and going down into a bowl and there's just all kinds of stuff you can do. I'm going to see if I can work on something this weekend but um, there's just all kinds of stuff you can do. And then I'll show you the video. I went to a fish store and they had this. They have all different size hoses and this, see, you could look at this. It fits perfect. You could direct this water anywhere. That's why I'm saying you can sit this on the bottom of a bowl, big bowl of water. You can have this thing coming out of anything. Here's my scissors. Look at that. And it could be rolling down into another bowl, into another bowl, another pot, however way you want to do it. Or you could just have it, you know, cut it and do it any size you want. The main thing is this stays in the water. But I'll show you my trip on, on the fish, to the fish store. And then I'll take you outside and we'll go see my, my trash find. I found somebody threw out a, uh, a water fountain. Their pump didn't work and they threw it out. Yeah, the pump didn't work and they threw it out. I, I don't know. I don't understand it because they could have bought a new pump. Even if it was electric, you can buy a new electric one. But I really prefer these. I've got a, two electric ones going right now and... I have solar ones all over, so I have a couple going, the electric ones. But let me show you the fish door, and then we'll go outside. So here I am at a fish store, a tropical fish store. See all the tubing? That This is what you need to do. You need to go to a fish store. They have all size tubings, even hard ones, if you wanted to do something really odd, like stick water up in the air. But look at this. This is the one I bought. This fit my solar pump. Not only that, it's like a catheter tube. It's so flexible. I'll be able to bend it around. But don't think of hardware stores. You don't really have to go to a hardware store to find the tubing you need. Think out of the box. And really, a fish store is really the best, I think, because they have so many. But check around wherever you can. And this way, if you want to do something really odd, bring your water somewhere else, then you can add tubing to it. And that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can find some fun and exciting things to do. And there it is. All their tubing. Now, I'm going to go build something. So here's my trash find of this water fountain that somebody threw away. This little birdbath water fountain. And I went and bought myself 
a solar um, setup, you know, just the pump and the solar panel. And look how beautiful that is. And I put rocks around it so the birds can land on it and feed in there. Or I should say drink. They drink and they take baths. But I also wanted to show you how we repurpose things. See the cord? And look at this. And there's my solar panel. Do you know what this is? It's really stupid simple. Let me show you. Let's see if I can look in there. I don't know if you can see. This is just a plastic, a really heavy duty plastic stake for your tomato plants. Pick those up for like a dollar at the store. And then this little thing on the top, I just stuck it in. It's from the inside of one of my husband's dishwashers. This is a little rack to hold silverware. So I stuck it in. See? Goes through there. And it's just holding up. Um, it's holding up my little solar panel. See? See, there's the stick. Now my solar panel is, you know, go looking towards the sun. And I have this running all day. It's laying kind of flat. You do sometimes it does better on a little tilt, so that's why it's on a tilt. But look at that. So I've repurposed. So I have a dollar stick there with a free silverware rack. Worked out really great. I actually took it. He doesn't even know I took it. I found it the other day and did that because he's been putting these in his garage and he's been putting tools in there. We've actually got a couple screwed on the wall in the kitchen and he's got his pens and his uh, heavy duty little flashlights in there and all kinds of stuff in there. But I looked at that and thought, this is great. I'm going to use it for this. Plus there was no, you know, no hammering, no screws, no nothing. It just stuck in and that's it. So just a tip and there it is. And I just love those solar panel fountain pumps. They are just so great. They're, you find them all over. They're usually less than $10. I have seen them at some of the nurseries. They have them too. Not all nurseries, but I have seen them there. But I would just get them online and you can find them anywhere. And they're just wonderful. I've had some of them running now for the past year and they're just nonstop. So with that, just wanted to show you how they work. I'm going to make a fancy one too. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. But I've got ideas. So have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. I don't think so.